Dawn Dares to Dream, I like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again. Because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities, we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. And my goal here at Dawn Dares to Dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again. Now, I, I want you to understand, I started Dawn Dares to Dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my back door way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree. And that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And thank you to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Day's Dream today to see what we're all about. We made it to the end. We made it to the end. This is the end of this series. This is the last episode. And I thank all of you for hanging in there and watching each and every each and every episode. Now, if you've missed any of the episodes, they are all nice and juicy. I am talking about the things that happened in my life, but with a twist, telling you where I made the choices that have led up to me being where I am today. Because remember, only you have the power to change your life, and I had the power to change my life, and I changed my life through the choices that I have made. And I am so looking forward to the choices that I will continue to make so that I can get to my next stage, my next level in life. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, there's gonna be a red rectangular button down there that says subscribe. Click on that, you'll be subscribed to my channel and ring the gray bell. That way you'll be notified of all the new content that I place up here to YouTube. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Today, we're gonna to talk about the things or the choices that I've made really in the last year or so that have brought me to um, being Dawn Dares to Drink. Because I'm going to tell you, I was so scared to do a YouTube channel. And what I was afraid of the most was actually truly sharing how I felt and how I believed. I did not know how it was going to make my immediate family feel and my friends feel. Because I don't go around talking about what I believe all the time. I don't. I mean, I just shoot the shit with people and hang out and talk and, you know, but nothing too deep, nothing too serious. I pretty much keep it light most of the time. So in keeping it light, you're not going to hear these kind of words and things out of me. Now, there have been some people that I've met along the way that I could tell by the way that they were speaking that they believed in law of attraction and they believed in universal laws and I was able to bond and talk with them. But the irony is those people are not the people who are really in my life every day day. Those are people who I casually meet and we're like, hey, but for whatever reason, we're not linking up <laughs> and becoming friends for, you know, long periods of time. So the people that are in my life don't really know because I don't want to sit like on my high horse and try to preach to people. So YouTube is giving me, like I say in the, you know, in the intro, it's giving me like that backdoor way of sharing who I am without having to sit and tell people. And so they can watch a couple videos and because I talk about general personal development, law of attraction, universal law topics, basically in every video. So if you watch one video, you're going to kind of get an understanding that I am not that person who is marking marching to the beat of the drum of everybody else <laughs> i want you to beat of my own drum right and i hope you're doing the same i'm just hoping that you're taking pieces of what it is that i'm sharing with you and then incorporating it into your belief system and your way of doing and your way of taking action to achieve your dreams in your life because everything no one's the same we all are different and I'm just here to give you a dose of how I did it and to see if maybe taking snippets of that may work for you. So I always knew I wanted to like share positivity and, and uplift people and inspire people and motivate people. That has always been 
something that I, I desired to do. I just didn't know how to approach that thought or that idea. When I grew up in church, that whole thought meant you wanted to be a minister, you wanted to be a preacher, but I didn't want to be a minister and I didn't want to be a preacher. I didn't want to come at it from that vantage point. I used to think that I was going to start my own nonprofit that helped girls, and maybe I still will one day, you know, but my own nonprofit to help girls who are disenfranchised, you know, and show them that they could do it and they could be better and they, they are powerful and they there's opportunity for them to excel and achieve. So I was going to do it that route. That's what I thought. Okay. But I don't know how to start a nonprofit and do all these things. So I've never done it. <laughs> I mean, granted there's Google now, so I probably could do a whole bunch of research and figure it out. But again, that takes a lot of, uh, effort and I'm not sure, do I want to put that much physical effort into, um, something I'm going to say right now. I have never articulated this out in the world like this before. So maybe this is the start of me moving in that direction. Cause I've always thought about being a big sister. Maybe that's where I can start, but I didn't do it because I have a son and I felt like my time and energy would go towards my own child. But now that he lives with his dad, I've kind of been thinking about that whole big sister, big brother thing. And maybe I should go ahead and get involved. Then my whole thought was, well, are you too old? But I'm not going to let these thoughts deter me because if I'm bringing it up here as I speak to you, especially in this um, series about the, we have the power to change our lives, maybe it's time. <laughs> maybe it's time that I go ahead and get a little sister. I believe I have a lot to give and a lot of knowledge to share. And the youth, you know, they really need it. And when you come from a background where you aren't supported, whether you have a lot of money or no money, you don't really believe much in yourself and you need someone to come along and help to, to inject um, that positivity in your life to re uh, make you, to make you over so that you know that you do have the power to do and be whatever it is that you want. You know, I didn't have a lot of people telling me that, but the few who did infuse that into my psyche, it really helped me to become who I am today. And even though I was afraid, and I did not want to start the YouTube channel. I was thinking about it. And I had been thinking about it. I was wondering how people did it. I didn't understand it. And my niece has a YouTube channel. She has a couponing uh, channel. And she has a whole couponing business. And she has training and a lot of things that she offers. But she also offered uh, a YouTube class that she doesn't do anymore because it's not really her thing. But she does, has a YouTube channel. So she launched a course to teach people how to do start a YouTube channel on a budget. And she did this during COVID. And this was a nice little quick way to infuse a few hundred dollars into her actual um, income stream. Cause I think the course was like a hundred bucks, I think. So I signed up for the course. And by the way, her um, channel is Chris, the maximizer, Chris with a K. So go check her out. Um, she's very good at that coupon thing. If that's what you're into, I don't really like coupons. I tried. Um, but one thing I did learn from her is I do, uh, do the rebate apps. So if you're interested in getting money back from your purchases, I do flus. I can send you a link for that. I do Ibotta. Um, I also do receipt pal and I do these three religiously receipt pal. I scan my receipts and, um, and I get Amazon gift cards for it. So, and I love like the flus is serious y'all. Okay. Because I travel. Expedia is in there. Well, I don't use Expedia because I use my own website, but like I booked my cruise on Carnival. Carnival is in there. So I got 10% back. I think it was 10% or 5%, maybe 5% back on all the Carnival stuff. And I'm not even done. And I have another cruise in June. And how I do is I, I buy my gift card and it's just paying for the amount I would spend. And then I, would, I go and I use it on Carnival and I get money back. Like, so I, I really do the rebate apps, but I'm not a big time couponer. I try, but I'm not that good at that. So if you want to know about the rebate apps, let me know. And if you want to learn how to coupon for sure, um, hit up Chris the Maximizer. But again, these are all choices. So right now, if you're listening and you don't make the choice to sign up and you booking your travel on Expedia or some of these other sites that might be in the Flues app and you're, you're missing money, like... I, I try my best not to miss money, especially if it's something that I can easily do and incorporate in my life. But that's a choice that I make, you know, I, and that choice gives me money back on things that I'm already spending. Why not? 
you know, coupon. I got to go through and see which one's going to work and see if they, and I buy a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, the coupons actually fit into like buying toiletries and buying cleaning products. So I try to cut them and do that, but then sometimes I forget I have them and I forget to use them. But again, I need to make the choice to remember and to be more organized because everything is about a choice because only we have the power to change our lives. Now, I told you all that just to explain who my niece is and how, what I've learned from her and the choice that I made in taking her courses to understand. So taking the YouTube course, I was very, very nervous about, <laughs> very nervous about my first video. Go scroll down in my video section, go down to the first video and watch it. Uh, so it's so different than what you're going to see now. I don't have a background in any of this stuff. I don't even think I have proper lighting. So it's a little dark and I'm nervous and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very nervous. I have like a whole script that I'm supposed to do and I don't really do that anymore. I write little notes out about what I'm going to talk about and then I just talk. So it was very nerve wracking trying to remember what I had put on the notes and it was just whoo, 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 whoo. And I was nerve wracking because my first video was about the law of attraction, I think. And I went right in and I didn't know how people were going to feel about that. <laughs> now I don't care what anybody thinks. I've been doing YouTube like for over a year and I talk about the topics that I want to talk about and I tell them from my point of view. And I know that my message is for who it's for. And that's the choice that I have made with doing this. I want to motivate and inspire. I told you that. I've always wanted to do that. YouTube is a vehicle for me to do that. It's a vehicle where I can just put the information out there and hopefully people find it. I also share that my videos are, go are posted on social media so other people know. When I'm out and about in town, I'm beginning to tell people I have a YouTube channel and I'm beginning to get subscribers from that. I got one last Friday when I was out. I told the girl I had a YouTube channel. She said, oh, let me subscribe. So. I'm a very chatty person. I meet a lot of people when I'm out. I believe I'm going to start telling people <laughs> that I have this channel. So that way, you know, I can get my subscriber account up. You know, there are perks you get on YouTube, like being able to go live when you have a certain number of subscribers. So I am so looking forward to that. Dawn Dares to Dream is near and dear to my heart. And I told you in the last video how I, um, you know, having the working where I work and having the, um, not time freedom, because that's not necessarily true. I have to work a certain number of hours, but um, the work-life balance is really good there. And I'm not taking, I don't have to take work and do work after hours. And it's not a very stressful job or environment. So it allows me to have my free and clear energy to produce content for Dawn Dares to Dream. And not just on YouTube, but also in the workbooks that I have um, done. If you're interested in a workbook, you can go to the shop link in the description for this video. And I have five different workbooks there that, that go along with uh, five uh, YouTube series. They're titled the same. So you, if you go look at the workbook, you can find the free YouTube series. Then you can purchase the workbook for $11.11 plus tax. It's a digital download, so you don't have to worry about um, waiting for a delivery or anything like that. And you'll have it as long as you choose to have it. You can't lose it because it's gonna be in your email. <laughs> so it's just important for us to remember when we're on this journey of life and we have things that are our priority but may not be anyone else's, that we make time for it. You have to choose to make time for that dream. Choose to make time for that personal goal. We make time for all these other things and for everyone else in our life. But we need to make time for ourselves so that we can become the individuals that we wanna be and we can do the things that we wanna do so we can go the places that we wanna go because everybody else is looking out for themselves. So you need to look out for yourself too. Only you have the power <laughs> to change your life. If you like this video, give me thumbs up. Also remember that there is a share button down there with an arrow, click on that share button and share this to your social media platform like Facebook. Remember, if you have not subscribed, my face is gonna be up here in a circle. So click on my face, select the gray bell, select all. That way you'll be subscribed to my channel and you'll be notified to all the new content that I place up here to YouTube. I'm going to also put um, the, this series there. So if you missed any of the episodes in the You Have the Power to Change Your Life series, click on that. It's gonna be right over here. And I'm also gonna put Taking Responsibility for Your Life. That's the previous series there as well. I have enjoyed sharing um, 
parts of my life with you as I talk about the choices that I've made in life to get me to where I am. The whole point of this series was to inspire you from this day forward to make the proper choices for yourself so that you can look back over your life and do just what I did and see where you made the right choices to where you are and see how they're all linked. It's an awesome journey to look back and to see how you got to where you are. It's very impressive. So I've enjoyed you hanging out with me today, dreamers. You know I love chatting with my dreamers. Have a great day, dreamers. Dreamers.